Welcome to our newest, to my newest series, Reptile Zoo. So, what should we start off with? Wait, now I know. Whatever. Uh, Chinese fans? No. So, I decided that for the first thing I would make, it would be a big, it would be like a thing for like the desert-like biomes. So I'm starting off by making a chuckwalla cage. Who knows, rocks to me just suit cages better. To me anyway. Now you're gonna see a lot more things and a lot less things on each video because I delete things to get more room and I add things depending on what the thing will be. Originally I was thinking that this would be a speed build of like a reptile house, but no. Heat lamp. Why do I why do they always need shelters? I hate when they need shelters. Actually, no, that makes it look kind of goofy. That would, this would look nice. Some rocky terrain. But they should still have a way. But like, there. Why does it look like the juniper is up in the sky? Here, does this look good? Whenever I make chukwala cages, they're always they're always super flourishing with plants. Wait, do they just like copy the locations? Yep, I think they live in the deserts of North America. I'm not sure. I'm not like a chukwala expert or anything. So yeah, I'll go to the Mediterranean scrub, desert biome, stuff like that. Cold desert? Nope, only Mustang. Hot desert? Stay in Espen, Chikwala is unable to reach a dropping water. You always, whenever it says you're unavailable to reach a dropping water, they actually are. Because like a minute later, they're, act they're literally drinking from it. Wait, no. Why don't I make this a little m more of a modern fence and replace this? Oh, no. Huh. <laughs> Where is the... Oh, there it is. Now! Now! And I'm not just gonna do this desert area. And the next cage will be for a very common house pet, Leopard Gecko. Octilio. Octillo. I have never even heard of the Octillo until Aura Designs made one. Aloe Vera. I love the desert grass. It makes it look so nice. A few little cacti. Uh, I'll make a little Joshua tree. In the reaches, I'll pretend that I'll make a little hole in the roof. Even though that would probably be a little unrealistic. Oops, I forgot to put in their food. <laughs> Flies and dropping water? And they're in which we... I'm not putting in a shelter. What's... What? Hey, an elephant sign! No, it's not, because that's... I don't have the elephant sign. I have the axolotl sign, which gives the same exact thing as, like... Yeah, well, you probably should get the idea. Hermine's tortoise. Ring neck spinning cobra. 
Oh, I love spinning ball. Well, I don't know why I'm saying that. Oh, no. Uh, close the park to guests. Yeah. With all those mods, you gotta be careful. Sometimes when you close the zoo, your game crashes. And then your thing stops recording, which is why on my Otter Speed build, I had to record it like 15, I had to record it in like 15 different sections. Ah, grass and dirt. <laughs> Who cares? And for some reason, fan-made biomes, except for the bog biome, which I don't have anymore, and Aura or Designs biomes, they never show up in my game. Rats! <laughs> drat rat drat rat drat rat drat rat drat 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 Okay. It's kind of I'm kind of annoying sometimes. Kate Thatch and Reed. Those look super good. Some lavender, a juniper, of course, because I love the junipers. Oregano, that, and cone bush. I always like to have a variety of plants. One ring next bank over. Oh, there's my chocolate. Oh, nope, there is not. I don't know if you can see. Right there. Oh, you probably can. There's his tail. Where are the leopard geckos? Bring the next spitting cobra. Where are you? Ah. Earwing. Bit stinked. <laughs> Hmm, I want like, I don't know, semi-desert. He lives in semi-desert. Is that like a mistake? I know chameleons live in tropical environments. Whatever. Galapagos land iguana. Galapagos, Galapagos, uh, <laughs> Oh no! No, no, no! I'm not making this with Galapagos land iguana, I'm making this Komodos. Why? No wonder why the cage is so big, this is gonna be one of my largest things. Where did the Komodos go? Are they in tropical rainforest? Nah, they can't be. Tropical dry forest. Yeah. Komodos. Tropical dry forest. Voxdale palms. I didn't know they were supposed to be for this biome. Oh yeah, I got the biome changes mod. Foyer plants. Conquer berries. Okay, for this one, I'm not just gonna use dry forests. I'm gonna use like Mediterranean scrubs too. Partially because I just like the look. Oh, cold desert rocks look good in tropical dry forests. They're all saying, oh, it's appropriate in this whatevers. 
And they're always saying it's unable to reach the whatchamacallit. It may be too close to another object. Well, you can reach it because you, whenever it says you can't reach it, you always do reach it. Now, give me your food. Please. I think I already have heat lamp in there. Whatever. Oh no, I have to go all the way down to say I think. Wait. Oh no. <laughs> Let's read. Food dishes. Yay. Monitor. No. Komodo dragon. Maybe it's under D. I have no idea. K. Oh God! I could just select that right there. I could have with a K, <laughs> because I get it. Because Komodo dragon sucks with a K. It's not funny. That's kind of horrible. Okay. This is officially. Almost done. <laughs> now I gotta use my dark path for whatever reason. So, yeah. Ring next, spinning camera, what is that? I made a rich food, I made a big food, oh, whatever! It looks like a piece of thing from like dinner, this thing. Like a fancy dinner. Because it's like a nice bricky thing. Okay, I'll make like a little thing around all these plants. Only, the, actually no, only the foxtail, because the foxtail totally exceeds. Not really the other one. The sacred fig, or whatever it's called. Uh, yeah. So, I think we're just about to do it and call it a day. So, yeah. Let's do this quickly. I have no idea why quickly. But let's just do it quickly. Because I like doing it quickly. Or maybe I don't. Who cares? Bye. Bye. <laughs>